Eighty. Let's get into this. Oh, no. I'm going to do this. Okay, good. Alrighty, now let's see. Which one shall I choose? Which one should I choose? There's so many to choose. Like, literally, there's, so, there's literally so fucking many. You boys are us? That sounds alright, but first I'm gonna do it. So. I'm gonna change some things. There. That is better. That is better for my end. And hello, Lilith. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. Every damn time. Every damn time it wants to put the game in front of the chat for some fucking reason. We're gonna go to D Boys R Us. And for anyone watching at the 20 minute mark, I'll accept an SCP you want me to read. Oh. <laughs> we woke up just in time. <laughs> Ah, connecting. The most perfect thing to watch. So much content. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, just just how long is a loading gonna fucking take? Like, for fuck's sake. Ah, hello, Hatchet. <laughs> oh, about time it goes to freaking 90%, motherfucker. Apparently, Hatchet is the cure to making the connecting go faster. Ah, the black screen. My favorite thing. Uh, but I don't. I only gave him the play. I, I I just spectate. That that's my job. Wow. That that is very interesting. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Voice scream and go burr. <laughs> Also, Hadget, you're probably new to this uh, uh, series, but uh, there's a reason why uh, it's mute for the SCP game I'm playing, mainly because they tend to say words that get me instantly banned, and I cannot control it whatsoever. So it's going to be mute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just saving my own ass. <laughs> oh. No, Hatchet, this is also a special um 
SCP live stream. Not only is it just a charity one, but it's also at the 20 minute mark, uh, people can ask what SCP I get to read for the stream. And the silence, just a plain silence. Biggie, I just see one of the names of the characters, Biggie Cheese Cheese. <laughs> Let's go to Biggie Cheese Cheese. Let's go all the way to them. Yes. Oh. Well, they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I would start running. This is this is so such great content. I don't get the murder. All I have to do is spectate. I I love this server already. <laughs> what the hell is BT she's doing? Step one, find Shy Guy. Step two, shoot Shy Guy. Step three, die. <laughs> Okay then. Oh, class D one. Class D one <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I, I I I don't know how, but they did it. So it's not obvious I'm currently using my fucking phone for Twitch and timing as hell. <laughs> it's alright, Hatchet. I swear if it puts me as fucking spectator again. Oh, well, I'm going to die immediately. Oh, wait, it's all Christmas themed. Huh, the SCP Foundation celebrates Christmas summer for some reason. Didn't think they would. Why? Okay, why are we going to 173? Should we run away from it? Oh! Ah. Uh, well, damn! How did they already die? Death, shatter legs and feet just fatal trauma caused by a fall. <laughs> Jump off the stairs and die. That is fucking hilarious. I kind of trying to speak to me, but I cannot hear them whatsoever. 
Right, let me open the presents. Let me open them. Damn it. Damn it. I can't take it. I want it though. Why don't you let me have the presents? I like the present. Oh, hi. Do we not go that way? Okay. Follow all the other D class to safety. <laughs> so what if we we're getting some of those dangerous things in front of weird one? <laughs> Wanna have to have Christmas gosh damn it. Presents. Yay, it's Christmas time. Yes, it is Christmas time. Why are we going back here? Oh, uh, what the fuck happened? Cause of death, bullet wounds. <laughs> Who shot the scientist? There's more dead bodies. Okay. Scientists against D-Class, so they shot them. <laughs> Apparently. I can't tell if I'm going the right way or not. Right, are you killing your colleagues again? Uh, maybe. Not that there's any way you can prove it. I mean, I'm most likely gonna die. Since I can't find a damn way to get out. Oh, hey, more D class. Yes, I'm not alone. Oh, it's SCP-420J as a tree. I see him for until permanent him. This is why you're not allowed guns. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <gasps> guns, guns. They took them all. They took all the guns. You motherfuckers. Oh, that looks pretty. But anyway, let's leave so I don't die. I am just here to see you get killed in admin. <laughs> this isn't among us. Jeez, I had a lag spike. Oh. 914. Oh! Yes, we need N. We need in here. What happened? I just turn around and this guy just flops the ground. Massive lacerations and excessive blood loss. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> that was just hilarious. Just turn around and see dead bodies. Uh -oh. What the fuck? What are these dead bodies? <laughs> they get killed by the door? Alright, what's this? Oh, that's the gun room. The imposters are real OP in this game. <laughs> <laughs> also, that locks looks to be shy guy attack. Probably. Then I guess it was a good thing I didn't look. Oh yeah, you felt by falling. And how the fuck do I get out? One out. Oh, hi. We're 
Oh, he's right there. Banana with no peel? <laughs> oh, fuck. Not here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, that that I I said I was gonna die. You're not allowed out. That it's a new rule. <laughs> well, I will say this: it's it's hit the twenty mark, the uh, twenty minute mark. Go chaos and surgery, murder. I was in the middle of typing advice. <laughs> Don't matter, I died. <laughs> yes, you're right, Lilith. Read SCP 5000. Alright, let me see. Nope, wrong series. Sorry, Lilith, it looks like Hatchet beat it to you. <laughs> it involves you. <laughs> Alright. Item. SCP-5000. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5000 is to be uh, kept in, in a deactivated state within a standard storage unit located at Site-22. All files and intelligence retrieved from SCP-5000 are to be stored on a secure server with backups available upon request from the archival department. <laughs> wow, hatchet. Description. SCP-5000 is a non-functional mechanical suit identified with it with its internal schematics as an absolute exclusion harness, designed by SCP Foundation. Although SCP-5000 is believed to be once possessed a, n a number of anomalous functions intended to protect and benefit its occupant, damage inflicted to it in the past means that it is currently only capable of basic file storage. For a record of files contained within SCP-5000 upon recovery, see Archive 5000-1. SCP-5000's first appearance in a, fla in a flash of light within SCP-579's containment chamber at Site 62C on December 4th, 2020, containing a corpse genetically identical to Foundation employee Pietro Wilson. Pietro Wilson is currently employed at Exclusionary Site at 06 Square, and anesthetic therapy was confirmed to he has no knowledge of SCP-5000 or memories concerning the events detailed with its archives. Archive 5000-1 Journal Entry 001-1 Oh. Alright. My name is Pietro Rolston. I don't know what's happening. I think I might be the only one left. The date is, um, 202... Uh, two. Oh, sorry. The date is um, oh two oh one twenty twenty. Sorry, the description is tricky. Sorry, I'm not used to this yet. Um, the date is February second, twenty twenty. I've just, I have just escaped the exclusionary site zero six. I think I'm not certain, but I think everyone else is dead. Those guys went through. Oh, that was being killed. If I hadn't gotten the suit, I'd be oh, oh god. Shoot, kill. Oh fuck. Well then, that helps anyway. Journal, uh, journal entry zero 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 one dash two. I need to get myself together, or this thing isn't going to be legible at all. Most likely, they're they're going to want some kind of record of this whole incident for posterity. 
I'm currently on my way to the nearest foundation in installation, a small safe house for agents making their way through this part of the country. Most likely, there won't be anyone there, but I should be able to get in contact with, with my superiors to find out what exactly is going on. Things started around six, maybe seven hours ago. A group identified themselves as Mo Mobile Task Force Zeta-19, aka Lonely Only. Insurgent infiltrators, maybe, entered a site. They had proper identification and everything and gathered everyone into the canteen. Then they started the shooting. Jesus, I, I, I can still taste the blood. I can't get that awful metal taste off my tongue. It's a miracle I didn't get hit or trampled on. The way people were climbing over each other to get out of there. If I hadn't gotten to the exclusion harness, I'd be dead. No doubt about it. Like I said, they were thorough. I'm a technician for a power grid on E6-06. I mean, EES-06. So I don't fully get this how this thing works, but I understand the basics. This perception filter thing doesn't mean people can't see me, but it does mean they can't recognize the fact that they can see me, which is, which I guess is the same thing when you get down to it. But those infiltrators, they didn't even take anything, didn't even try to. I watched after I got into this thing. I was too scared, fucking coward, to make a run for it. They checked, they just checked the bodies and left. An extra bullet for every head. They were just there to kill us. Journal Entry 0001-3 Finally made it to the safe house after hours and hours of tr trotting through the goddamn desert. Heard a few explosions in the distance. Maybe the Foundation sent an MTF to engage those infiltrators before they got away? Hope so. Never been happier to see the bottle see bottled water in my life. The harness sustains your body while you're while you're wearing it, apparently. But my mind still thinks I should be drinking. Human nature, I guess. Anyway, once I get these legs of mine rested, I'm gonna try and get these systems online. I need to get in touch with the foundation and find out what exactly is going on. Journal Entry 001-4. Holy shit. That, 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 that's literally all that entry says. <laughs> anyway. Wow, this SCP has so much fucking to read. This is going to be a... <laughs> but I will, I will read everything. Downloaded file 0001-1. Context. They sent this to every government, news, organization, and anomalous agency on the planet. Fuck me. The following is a message composed via consensus of the O5 Council. For those who are not currently aware of our existence, we represent the organization known as the SCP Foundation. Our previous mission encountered uh, centered around the containment and study of anomalous objects, entities, and other sort of phenomena. This mission was the focus of our organization for more than 100 years. Due to circumstances out of, outside of our control, the directive has now changed. Our new mission will be the extermination of the human race. There will be no further communication. Gosh damn, this is going to be hard. Doing 049 while also reading... No, I, I I have read something way longer, Hatchet. Like an entire story on one of my videos. So yes, this is not the longest. <laughs> I mean, I would. Can I? Can I leave? Thank you. I'll just. Anyway, compose file zero zero one dash one. Immediately following the message, uh, the release of worldwide announcement, the Foundation began their assault on mankind. Uh, 
The response well, the response to the anomalies the foundation let loose was quick as it could, could have been. Open the import. Anyway. But the damage has been being done. It's hard to tell what exactly is going on, but uh, but from my position here, accessing the Foundation Network and keeping track of the news, I've managed to get graphs a little. I'm getting everything I know down so that, that, that when this is over, if anyone's still alive, they'll know what happened to us. Alright, they sent SCP-096. Images of SCP-096 face circulated on social media platforms Death toll has already reached hundreds before the images were taken down. For all I know, that thing is still going on. SCP-169 A series of nuclear uh, charges were detonated with it and along SCP-169's back, causing it to stir and to sleep slightly. The Resultant earthquakes and tsunamis devastate a significant number of co uh, coastal settlements around the world. Right. SCP-662. Over the course of 24 hours, an individual whose appearance matches of that of Mr. Deeds appears in the vicinity of several major heads of the state and assassinates them using whatever tools are immediately available, disappearing just as quickly. I don't know why this stopped after the first day. Ow. But anyway, SCP-610. Samples of SCP-610 are dispersed and embedded in the found. I know I know a better way to do this. Wait, I lived? I lived? That's weird. Usually we I die. But anyway. Uh, a dispersed by foundation ages with ma uh, many major cities, including New York and Delhi. All uh, civilians in this area, along with the ancients themselves, are quickly infected and succumbed to SCP-610. Necessary. Uh, further spread of SCP-610 is halted by the combined efforts of the Global Occult Coalition and the Church of the Broken God. SCP-682 released. That's all it says about that. I don't understand why this is happening. Download the file 0001-2. Context. News uh, footage I managed to download between drinking sessions. Gen log. Reporter Maria Henderson is speaking from inside a GOC eva evacuation tent. Uh, shit. Uh, scrolling header indicates that she is speaking the outskirts of Torsa, Sweden. Behind her, patients uh, can be seen treated by doctors in full protective gear. Maria herself is wearing a surgical mask, pulling up to slight, slightly allow her to speak in the microphone, which is which kind of defeats the purpose, if you ask me. Hate being 049. It is so hard to read. Yeah, it does. Okay, once I get okay, free. Maria Henderson repeating what was previously put, uh, been put out by the Global Co Coalition: residents that have not already evacuated are advised to seal themselves inside their homes as quickly as possible, using whatever materials are available. One of the doctors attending a patient stands up with urgency, looks looking over a soldier standing over the beds. Doctor, if we have got an expiration, get eraser ready. Maria Henderson quickly begins moving out of the tent, out, out into the field filled with silver insulations. A loud buzzing sound can be heard from the tent behind her, and several flashing lights can be seen. Thick smoke pours. Oh. That. Right, anyway. Thick smoke pours out of the gap on top of the tent. Oh, wait.
Wait, I can't. Okay, so I can't infect them or that, or I don't know how. Oh shit. Shit. I don't know how to do zero four nine. But anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, Maria Henderson. Any individuals still um still in a compromised area are advised to keep careful watch over those around them. If any friends or family members begin um sorry yes begin exuding a noticeable uh minty smell, they are being quarantined immediately. Feed cuts out. I later found out this was television stop everywhere. Internet too. World gone blind in a few seconds. End log. Journal entry 0001-5. It's funny. With the supplies in this place, not to mention the exclusion harness, I could poss probably survive for years right here. But the idea of being sat here with no idea what's going on in the outside world is unbearable. Still, I'm not sure whether I really want, want to know what's happening out there either. When I was a kid, real sick all the time, not being able to go out that much, I was really into detective stories, Sherlock Holmes and all that shit. I always wanted to figure things out. Anyway, my dad had this row of plant pots on the wall out, outside the house, and they were always getting knocked over, but he could never figure out what was doing it. That was pretty much my peak of detective uh, obsession. So I was a case like nothing else. I, I was a stupid shit, so I... Couldn't actually deduce anything. But you understand. So I ended up uh, buying this cheap spy camera recording the wall overnight. It was a stray cat. My dad ended, ended up kicking it to death like I should have known he would. Holy shit. Well then, that got dark. <laughs> Curiosity, well, you know the saying. Everyone involved would have been better off if I minded my own business, except my dad, but fuck him. Damned if you do, damn if you don't, but I'd rather d be doing something than nothing. Besides, if I have the exclusion harness, nothing that would want to hurt me will ever know that I'm, I'm there. I'm a tourist at the end of the world, destination Site-19. Closest real foundation installation only makes sense. I'm getting some answers. Recorded file 0001-1. Context. Encounter with Foundation elements a few days after leaving my shelter watching weird behavior. Begin log. Feeling a group of Foundation soldiers in a clearing from a distance, nine in total, stood in a line. A tenth soldier, the commander, silently pacing back and forth in front of them. Uniforms and signal looked like uh, those of MTF Espelon-6. Village idiots. Wait, is that seriously what the group's called? <laughs> After a few seconds, the commander claps her hands once and steps towards the line. Commander, first soldier in line. Forming the check now. Soldier uh, one, of course. Commander takes out a knife and stabs a soldier in a soldier. In a, in a shoulder, there is no reaction. Commander, removing knife. Get that wound treated. The soldier nods. The commander proceeds to stab each soldier in the line in the same way, with no reaction with from any of the victims until the eighth, who noticeably winces. Soldier eight. Arg. All the cool names have been taken. Commander, shouting. Got a live one. The commander and all the... Other soldiers quickly aim their guns and fire upon Soldier 8, killing him. He drops to the ground. The commander then moves to the ninth soldier and stabs him in the shoulder. No visible reaction. Commander. Alright, we're clear. Move out. MTF Epsilon 6 packs up their supplies and leave the area, leaving the corpse of the dead soldier where it is. Manage to retrieve weaponry and basic medical supplies from the body. Bury it as well as I can afterwards. End the log. Closing notes. No fucking clue. Recorded file 0001-2. Context. Weird transmission I caught on an old radio. Don't know if it's important, but trying to get everything down for posterity. Begin log. 
Audio only. Voices male around my age, I guess. Voice. Seven five. Can you hear me? There's a hole shining in the holes between your eyelids. I have never been to First Sally's before. I want to be loved. Nine. I am standing behind you now. Five. I am two of us standing behind you now. The goddess eats the city in the sea. Nine. There's a hole in the floor with an uh, answer awaiting in it. Seven. Look. You're, you're hatching. You're hatching. Message continues on loop. End log. Oh. Well, I'm fucked. Closing notes. Message uh, stopped once I turned the radio over and saw it was damaged beyond repair. Am I feeling okay? Journal entry 001-6. I thought of Site-19 as a re re relatively close by. I really never really took into account there was probably a vehicle in mine. An example. Vehicle. I can't risk cars or anything like that. Even if I went unnoticed, the vehicle wouldn't. All it, all it takes is one Foundation soldier of wandering anomaly to spot it, and I'm as good as dead. Still, marching through the woods, even with the harness protection, isn't the most pleasant experience. Oh. I think I'll wait here until... I get, uh, someone comes in and frees me. I'll wait here. It'd be hard to move out of the way if anything I came, uh, try us being through, for one. Just because things can't notice me doesn't mean that they can't run me down. Gives me time to think, though. Like, why the hell am I even going to Site-19? What do I hope to accomplish? If I want to stay out of danger, survive as long as possible, I, I'd be best suited to getting as far away from any Foundation personnel as possible, not jumping right into the Viper's Nest. Answers, I guess. More than anything, I want answers. Even if I get kicked to death afterwards. Compose file 0001-2 Reach Site-19 the securities in dis disrepair most of the anomalies let a loose a while ago, so that it was naturally pretty easily to get sucked to get in. Still stressful moving out of the way of the researchers as they went about their business. They were still ta uh, talking like colleagues, discussing on how to get the maximum hum human casualties, like it was not something they'd always been doing. But their eyes. It was like something was missing about them, some spark. I couldn't see them as human, looking at, at their eyes. Maybe not even alive, hard to describe, but it gave me the creeps. Accessing the, the Foundation database with some stolen senior staff uh, credentials, I think I've managed to put together a basic timeline of what happened right before the declaration of war. I don't know what it means, but I guess it's a start. December 16th, 2019. The 05 mark a project called uh, Pneumonia as a being of special interest uh, to senior staff. Apparently, it was a mass uh, a massization project called Kaleidoscope, except most focus on the collective human unconsciousness and psychospace, whatever you want to call it. Apparently, there was some kind of breakthrough in mapping out the, the psychospace, except I can't s see what it was because of the fucking redacted. Typical. December 17th, 2019. A vote is undertaken by the O5 Council with the result of being uh, unanimous. Ethics Committee also concurs, don't know what the votes were about because it's fucking redacted. December 19th, 2019. A series of instructions, redacted instructions, of course, are sent to all senior staff members and site directors. 
A wave of suicides and resignations go out across the foundation, with Dr. Charles Gears being one of the employees resigning. December 22, 2019. A number of files are sent out uh, to all remaining senior staff members of Insight Directors uh, with instructions to also disassimilate those materials among the staff serving under them. The files are accompanied by the message, Harden Your Hearts. All suicides and resignations immediately cease during the dissemination of the, of the materials. December 25, 2019. Full block on all communications in and out of Foundation sites. Termination of the majority of the human and human sympathetic anomalies is performed by the staff at each site over the course of the next week. Also, how the fuck am I not dead? I know this is off topic, but how am I not dead? But anyway. Information suggests that an assassination team was sent by Dr. Charles Gears, but it doesn't say whether they were successful or not. January 2nd, 2020. Mobile task forces are dispatched to all exclusionary sites to execute all personnel. Immediately following the conclusion of these missions, the Foundation declares war on humanity. Not quite certain what all this means. Did the O5 Council send out some kind of magnetic? Uh, agent to get everyone to go along with them? Are you in ex an, an exclusion suit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that wouldn't explain why the O5 Council would want to wipe out humanity in the first place. I don't get it. I just don't get it. More information on the anomalies that the Foundation are actively using too. With the news down, it's hard to get much solid info outside their own records. And even those are still goddamn fucking redacted. I mean, it's the end of the world. What's the point of redacting shit anymore? Who cares? Just tell me what's going on. Fuck it. I'll put it, it, it all in a table for posterity or whatever. SCP-1370. Television service temporary returns. All channels are propaganda speeches from SCP-1370. Rambling on and on about he's, how he's going to take over the world or whatever. This one isn't actually that bad. SCP-1048. I don't know how the Foundation managed to catch that thing in the first place, but the helicopter footage shows the hordes of bears created by 1048 rushing through the streets of Paris. The footage isn't too clear, so I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a massive red teddy in the distance as well, walking around next to the skyscrapers. SCP-1290. SCP-1290-1 and SCP-1290-2 are moved from the original position and used as rudimentary projectile system to launch pro uh, projectiles and secure GOC installation called Ganser. Not 100% sure from the files, but it looks like it's just one frankly obscene number of anomalies they're using to try and bust in there, if you ask me. They better... They're better off just firing missiles, but nobody is asking me because they're, they've all gone nuts. SCP-1440 SCP-1440 is transported to from refugee camp to refugee camp by Mobile Task Force NU-22 Rocketmen, where its anomalous fact effects take rapid devastation to those fleeing communities. Strangely enough, the way these events are described and the files make it sound like SCP-1440 actually has no effect on the Foundation personnel assigned to it. SCP-1678 The Foundation intentionally abandons containment of SCP-1678, removing personnel from the immediate area. Once chaos caused by additional anomalies makes the uh, evacuation of London and possible foundation uh, officials from British Occult Service direct citizens to take refuge in SCP-1678 below. Once the city has reached capacity, the foundation designates the nuclear device station there prior to the abandonment. I want to try and investigate some more before getting out of here to see what I can find out. Files deleted. Well then. Oh, I mean that that's a that's a good file to read. 
Journal Entry 0001-7. It has been about three months since my last entry. God knows what I've been doing since then. The time between then and now is completely blank in my memory. And it looks like the files from that period have been deleted as well. As far as I know, I should be the only one able to do that, so take it at that as you will. I seem like I've been through a few rough patches. I have had a few scars that I don't quite recognize, and I have a bandage wrap around my temple. The squishing harness doesn't seem to be damaged, though, so I don't know what hurt me. Did I fall off a cliff or something? The sad part is I can actually see myself doing something like that. Never was the smartest. Site 19 is long gone while it's still there, I assume. But I'm halfway across the country, couldn't tell you why. It's weird though, I feel like I have a purpose now. Even though I'm not 100% sure what it, what it is, just where I need to go. There's a briefcase in my hand, having trouble recalling what it is, what exactly it is inside it. All I know that it isn't round and I need to get, get it to SCP-579. Files deleted. Journal entry 0001-8. I under underestimated how long it would take to get to SCP-579. Site-19 was a trek all, all on its own, but SCP-579 is another story entirely. I wouldn't even know where it was without its documentation, which I have no idea how I obtained, but that's besides the point. I stopped counting the courses I walked past. It's probably the quadruple digits now. Jesus, maybe higher. Came across the dead body of a kid, a little boy in a, in a house. I was grabbing some supplies from a while back. At first, I thought it, he'd just been shot in the head, but when I went to bury him, I can see there were things moving underneath his skin. Little pale worms, hundreds of them. They all poured out in the second I touched them. They all had his face. They were all laughing, scurried off into the drain. I didn't try to bury people anymore. Keep, keeping going is a lot more difficult than you think. Files deleted. Oh. Zero five five. <laughs> Compose file is zero zero one dash three. This thing is the briefcase is a, is a godsend, but don't know what the hell it is. But if things are getting too much for me, I, I just need to open it up. And the next thing I know, I'm miles further along from them, uh, from where I, I just was. Feeling all, all warm inside like something gave me a prep uh, talk. Like it's its own personal skip button for when things are getting rough. Managed to get temporary access to the Foundation database from the corpse of Agent I found half-buried in the woods. Wolves are already helping themselves to him, but obviously didn't mind me taking his laptop. <sighs> didn't notice me anyway. The Foundation is still throwing everything they've got at everyone else. I put the table... I put in a table might as well. SCP-2000 the Foundation intentionally triggers an eruption of Yellowstone, obliterating SP-2000 for now. Anomalies deployed by the mana at Charitable Foundation have slowed down the environmental effects of the sword rate, but it's still a matter of time before we choke on ash. SCP-2200. Somehow the Foundation seems to have mass-produced SCP-2200-1, and those swords are making their way into the hands of refugees. With all the victims of SCP-2002-1 cutting down, uh, are cutting down. SCP-2002-3 are overflowing, uh, with a mountain of living. SCP-2002-4 trapped under a mountain of dead. SCP-2002-4. SCP-2000-2241. Uh, One of very few humans anomalies that weren't terminated. It appears SCP-2241 is being used as a living weapon to destroy the biggest refugee camps that crop up, forcing survivor survivors to remain in smaller groups. Unknown how they're getting it to be that loyal, but I doubt it's pleasant. Last information on 2241 says that it's being deployed to assist at the siege at Ganser. Apparently they're having some trouble. 
SCP-2466. SCP-2466 was constantly being used in, in order to compel survivors originated from redacted California and uh, perform actions from both socially disruptive and physically hostile. This was apparently effective, but after the 4,020th uses of SCP-2466, it crashed and became unusable. Guess that what weren't any residents left. SCP-2639. SCP-2639 was being dispatched to survivor communities and installations for groups that opposed the Foundation in order to kill everyone present. Apparently, they were told that they were fighting monsters that had escaped from containment and were destroying the world. Clearly, they figured out that wasn't the case because they refused to do anything since about the sixth time they were deployed. Good for them. <laughs> Okay, good. I'm close to done. <laughs> Journal entry 0001-9. It's nice having company, even if they don't know you're there. I'm sat around a fire with a group of GOC soldiers who are trying to make their way. Well, I don't think they actually have anywhere to go at this point. Just wondering, maybe. I thought about revealing myself, trying to ask them to help me to get to 579, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe I've just gotten used to not existing. Yet being a tourist, I'm a ghost. The suit is really is a wonder. Managed to access their connection to the GOC database with it while they were making coffee. The news isn't good. Downloaded file 0001-3. Context. Interview log with integration facility inside Ganser. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time I've captured a member of the Foundation personnel and has spoken during inter interrogation. Interviewer is Commander Morrison with a scientist called Dr. Rhodes also being there. The guy is being in interrogated as a member of Mobile Task Force Omega-2, a secret keepers, Samuel Ross. No video, only audio. Don't know if there's something wrong with the file or just the way it was recorded in the first place. <laughs> Begin log. Commander Morrison, do you know where you are? Samuel Ross, I'm a gangster, right? You guys grabbed us while we were trying to sneak in. Commander Morrison, that's right. Do you know why you're here? Oh. I think I... Um... There. We'll be fine right here if we'll have good enough entertainment right here. Anyway. Samuel Ross, calmly. You're going to interrogate me, I assume. Commander Morrison. Doctor. Doctor Rhodes. Confirmed. The subject has nothing Im implanted inside of him. No mental agents or cognito hazards either. You're safe to begin. Commander Morrison. All right. Commander Morrison, none of your colleagues we've spoken to have talked. Not one, not a one, not a word. Why are you talking to me now? Samuel Ross, we've met before. Do you remember? Commander Morrison, I'm sorry? Samuel Ross, in that point, in that joint operation in Tenor Eiffel, a few years back with Seagull Prince, do you remember? I was wearing a gas mask back then, so you probably didn't recognize me. But I recognize you. And it gave me a chuckle. That's why I'm talking. Commander Morrison, that's the only reason? Samuel Ross, yes. Yeah, you are a computer. <laughs> Did it put that as a website? Seriously? Commander Morrison, when we caught you trying to sneak into the city with refugees, you and your comrades started firing into the crowd at random. Men and women and children all murdered for no reason. Don't you think that's crazy? Samuel Ross laughs. Dr. Rose. Fucker. Commander Morrison, that's funny to you? Samuel Ross, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's just I thought I was being a little hypocritical. Commander Morrison, 
What? Same with Ross. Well, I mean, you're interrogating me like the information you'll get with will help you, but there's no time for you to really do anything. The way I see it, no matter how many times you fire Abel at her, uh, Pro uh, Professor Crow's Europia will rip this place open before long. But you're still acting like you can do something about it? Don't you think that's crazy? Commander Morrison, if you're just spoken up to talk nonsense, we can always try and enhance interrogation. I don't want to, but I'll do it. Samuel Ross, do what you want. Once you've realized you're not you're not supposed to feel pain, there's nothing to be afraid of it, of anymore. Commander Morrison, what do you mean by that? Samuel Ross, you. No, you wouldn't want me to say. Commander Morrison, I very much do. Uh, Samuel Ross, I'm not talking to you. That doesn't make any... Quinter Morrison, that doesn't make any sense. Tell me now. Whoops, wrong way. I hate being 079, so... Yes. But anyway, uh, Commander Morrison, you're still good on in inoculations? Dr. Rhodes, clear on all Foundation kill agents, yes. Commander Morrison, then spit it out, Ross. Stop stalling or we'll have to get unpleasant. Samuel Ross, fine. Inaudible. Commander Morrison, I... I didn't catch that. Dr. Rose, you, you'll have to speak up. That microphone only has so much gain. Samuel Ross, information excised. Randall Morrison, Dr. Rose can be heard screaming loudly. Wet cracks and sounds of rushing wind are also audible. The screaming, which grows higher pitched over time, continues for the remainder of the recording. Samuel Ross, Look what you've done to yourself. I told you that you 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 wouldn't like it, didn't you? That's why you you hear your voice that you wanted to know so badly. I really liked you guys, so I was trying to be nice. We're so kind to you, you know. We fight in the light so you can die in the dark. Disgusting. End log. Closing notes. Apparently, right after this, some kind of emergency wrote arose inside Ganser, and the city ended up being destroyed from both inside and outside. Files don't mention the specifics, but the GOC may be done. Files deleted. Journal Entry 0001-10 It's getting hard to keep going with the GOC or keeping up the fight. There was a sense that things could be it could still be turned around, but with them on the run, now it, Two, it's easy to feel there's no point to all of this. With Ganser taken care of, the Foundation has turned their full attention back to everyone else. I don't eat or drink anymore. The harness takes care of all that. Anyway, there's too much of a risk that anything I consume will be contaminated by one of the awful viruses the Foundation is trying to spread. I've seen corpses in, in pretty much every state imaginable at the, by this point. Some of them walking around, even. Every time I open a briefcase to uh, to skip, I make a little less progress. I, f I feel a little worse. Whenever, Whatever was helping me before, I, it's like I've grown numb to it. Wouldn't it be the only thing? Why am I going to 579? Do I actually have a reason? Pose file 001-4. Foundation's still fucking us. Here's a table about it. SCP-3078. Apparently, the Church of Broken God managed to get the internet back up and running in some, some areas. Only the Foundation fucked that pretty quick by uploading thousands of copies of 3078 through pretty much every medium available. So the internet went back now. SCP-3179. Thing was freed from the container after the Church of Broken God started trying to rebuild things. Sparked a civil war inside the church over whether this thing was uh, McCain or not, which was really putting 
a, a damper on their ability to help out. Plus, it's making making as much fucking Terminator things as it can, so that's fun. SCP-3199. SCP-3199 eggs are now being airdropped pretty much wherever. I'm sure you can imagine how that's going. Might write more later. Journal Entry 001-11 I have been making my ways towards 579, maybe a little slower than before, but who can blame me for the lack of motivation? Been seeing some strange things lately, stranger than usual, I mean. First are the blinkers. There's been a, quite a few of those around lately. Now I'm pretty sure they were created by the Foundation, even if I don't know how. I don't know most things, so I just add this to the list. There are statues. Statues of soldiers. MTF uniforms with empty sockets for eyes. Their arms are carved with blades, like what you see on a praying, praying mantis or something. They're, har they're harmless as long as you look at them. But the second you look away, they can move and they're, pr and they're fast. Saw one cut through an entire crowd of people with just a gust of smoke blocked it from the view for just for just a second. I'm weary of them. Me looking at them stops them too. So even if they they don't perceive where I am, they're going to deduce that I'm there. Might just start slicing everything in, sli in sight, and then that's the end of me. Need to do my best to avoid them completely. The second, second thing I saw is, well, it's a lot weirder. It was on the horizon like a person stretched out. Notice that the best way to describe it, it was like the space around them was stretched out. And they were being stretched along with it, like some kind of bad Photoshop effect. Their body went from ground up to the clouds, and their jaw swung at the right angles. There were these gaps as well as black gaps in space around its body like wings. It just floated forwards like that. There were Foundation guys there too, but they were fighting it, shooting it with guns and rockets. How fucked up is is that I'm thinking the foundation fighting an anomaly is weird. Maybe they were like me, managed to get out out when all that this all kicked off. Thought about taking it to them, but decided not to. Can't risk it. Get out of there. I need to get to get to five seven nine. I need to do something, anything. Journal entry zero zero one dash twelve. Saw a kid die today. Could have helped her, didn't. I'm a piece of shit. Compose file 0001-4. SCP-4290. Third use of sample of SCP-008 enhanced by SCP-914. The Foundation reanimates the corpse of SCP-4290 and lets it loose. Kaiju answers from the serpent's hand, hand engage, but the file isn't clear on what the results are. Heard the li Liberty detached from from this universe, but it looks like these guys stayed behind. Idiots. SCP-4666. Foundation used temporal anomalies to make it so it technically is te it is technically Christmas everywhere. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that's the Santa Claus one. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to read this anyway. Record file 0001-3. Context, no input. Begin log. View is in the interior of the abandoned jewelry store. Th from the front door, the night sky can be seen through a broken window. A teenage girl is sitting at the makeshift fire in the middle of the store. A ruby amulet is hanging around her neck. Perception filter is disabled. A girl jumps back, alert, picking up a rusty pipe as a weapon. Girl, who are you? Pietro, I, I recognize you. The necklace, I mean. Oh, the girl groans, dropping the pipe. Girl, all shit. They send you to kill me. You're gonna be here for a while. Here, Trill. No, I, I'm. I got away too. Did you get away too? The girl leans forward, squinting to see Pietro's face. Girl, Jesus, you look like shit, pal. When was the last time you slept? Pietro, the suit. Um, you don't need to sleep with it on. You do girl you do need to sleep your face is just it's seriously a disaster man you hate to see it Mirtro, can i come in the girl steps back gesturing 
theoretically at the store with one arm. Girl, but of course, there's enough broken glass for everyone. Pietro staggers in and sits da down on the floor. The sound of crunching grass can be heard. Girl, I was joking, you know. You could have grabbed a chair. Pietro, it's fine. The suit's sturdy. Girl, suits yourself. Yeah, she, she sits down the opposite. Girl, that's a fancy piece of kit you got there. Uh, Jester's the necklace. Want to trade? Pietro. <laughs> No way, I've read the file. Girl, worth a shot. Been a while since you you laughed, huh? Neutro. Not been much to laugh at. Well, since I already know who it is, I'm going to say Dr. Bright from now on. Dr. Bright. Not even the Pesterbot showed up on all the TVs. Neutro. <laughs> okay, now, that was kind of funny. Dr. Bright. So you got away too? I mean, I'm assuming you're a fountain. They were a foundation guy, not one of the many people I've pissed off in my lifetime here for revenge. Yeah, true. Aren't those the same thing? <laughs> Dr. Bright. <laughs> now you're getting it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, the foundation was... Foundation, I mean. Got lucky when this all started, got into the suit and escaped you. Dr. Bright. Well, I was the senior staff. We would have been told about the plan before anybody, anyone else, but damn if I can't remember what it was. Probably because of the second file. The second, Pietro, the second file, you saw it? What was it? Dr. Bright. Whoa, cool your jets, kid. We've got all the time in the world. There were just a bunch of images, eggs, trees, religious stuff. They didn't mean anything to me by themselves, but I guess they had something encoded them in them. Then take like they should have. Probably because of this thing. Yeah, sure. So it was a me memetic agent. Dr. Bright. Don't know about that. I've pretty much had everything that can happen to me. Well, happen to me. I know what a memetic agent feels like. It didn't feel like that. More like being released from something that's something being forced on me. Pietro. I, I see. So you don't really know what's going on either? Dr. Bright? Nope. Pietro? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yep, you will mean go burr. I just saw that. <laughs> Dr. Bright. <sighs> so, you heading somewhere or just wandering around feeling sorry for yourself? Pietro. I'm heading to uh, SCP-579. Dr. Bright. <laughs> if you're suicidal, there are easier ways to go about it, believe me. Here, you know what it is? Dr. Bright. Not a clue, which is concerning because I'm kind of a big deal. Here, Doesn't matter. I have to get there. Do Dr. Bright. Why? Here, I just do. Where are you headed? Dr. Bright. SCP-1437. Uh, Gonna see if I can piss into another universe, then throw his amulet down there and see where I wake up. Here, trip. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Good luck to you. Dr. Bright. I wish you good luck too, but we both know you're not getting it. Day's about to break, and I'm I'm heading off. Here, trip. Okay. Dr. Bright stands up and moves to the front door. She lingers at the entrance of the store for a moment. Dr. Bright, I hope you find what you're looking for at least. Back to Bright Leaves, Pietro, me too, in log. Files deleted. Journal entry 001 13. Hi, journal. It's been a while. Right now, I'm looking at site 62C, where SCP 579 is supposed to be. There are no guards, as far as I can see, and all the security is down. It looks like the place has been abandoned for a while. I was under the impression that this place is extremely high priority, but it looks like the foundation doesn't agree with me anymore. I have the briefcase in my hands. It's difficult to breathe. I feel like everything will end soon one way or another. I'm heading in. Journal entry 0001-14. Mm -hmm. Hi again, journal. I know I ended the last entry so dramatically, and it's been 
about 30 seconds since then, but I have an important update. The second I got close to Site 62C, I, f I got a feeling like someone is pressing a gun against the back of my head. Like I was standing at the edge of a roof and someone's hands were on my back, ready to push me. Some fight or fight sh or flight shit dialed up as far as I would go. I, did, I don't know what SCP-579 is, but I know it's looking at me. Recorded file 0001-4. Context. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Begin log. View in, is in the inside of the hallway within Site 62C. Severe damage is visible on the walls, appearing as if it, it was done via usage of a large knife. The lights overhead flicker. Uh, Pietro, fuck, fuck. The lights flicker again, then when they came back on, a statu statue of a soldier with blades of an, uh, for arms is visible underneath them. It has empty sockets where its eyes should be, and its face is locked into in a snarling expression. End log. Closing notes. Was wrong. They're here. Journal entry 001-15. Was right. Even though they can't notice me, they found out I'm here, slashing everything in sight. Gouge one of my legs. Hurts like shit. But need to keep moving. They're not chasing me. But they've headed to the same place. Need to get there first. Need to keep watching them. Journal entry 001-16. Made it. 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 General entry 0001-17. That's not fair. But I made it. That's not fair. They, they've they stuck behind the door. I can't hear them. I can hear them slashing at it, but it's reinforced. I will hold for a little while. A couple of minutes at least. I'm in an observation chamber full of instruments for monitoring SCP-579. The actual containment chamber is right below me. I can just barely see it if I strain my eyes a little. There's a hole. There's a hole in the floor that leads right down there. I know where 579 is. Even if instruments weren't here, I can feel it. You, can, you, you can't be near it without feeling it. Probably for, probably. for a second, I thought I could just drop the briefcase down the hole and be done with it. But that would be too easy, wouldn't it? After walking halfway across the world, I guess I have to earn the right to, for something to be easy. On the angle of the hole and where SCP-579 is, the briefcase wouldn't come close to touching it. The only way is to make contest I jump in the hole and throw it uh, on my way down. At that height, throwing the briefcase would be the last thing I do. Of course, a fucking course. I've taken my whole life to realize that I'm not the kind of person that can't be a de uh, detective. I'm just a, mur a murder victim. I die for someone else's story, and the human race is going going with me. I know who done it, how done it, but those were obvious. Everyone know, uh, everyone knows those. Those were handed to me. I don't know why. In the end, I I couldn't figure out a, even a single thing. Why is this happening? Why is the Foundation killing everybody? Why is why is this happening? Why did this did they send out those files? Why is this happening? Why did Ganser fall? Why is this happening? Why am I taking this briefcase across the world? Why is this happening? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I why am I going to die? Is there a reason? If anyone ever is reading this, please, please figure it out. Explain it to me. Someone, anyone. I don't get it. I don't get it. They're about to get in. First foot forward. SCP-579 shows itself. General entry 001-18. Oh, so that's how it is. Life signal, life signs lost. Footnotes. Cause of death determined to be blunt force trauma believed to be inflicted by the impact with the ground following a long fall. One of the series of installations designed to retain information following reality shifts or other temporal Restructuring events. A fortress city standing on an electric ocean designed to house humanity's survivors in the event at the end of war scenario. In Fort 
Connor Colley referred to as MI666. And that... Oh, I died. I didn't realize I died. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, that was SCP-5000. Now, if Lilith is still here, which of the Doctor of Wondertainment SCPs do you want me to read? Because there's, like, a crap ton. And jeez, that was a long-ass SCP. I started reading at 20 minutes, at an hour and 20 minutes. Holy crap, that was a long SCP. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it. That's the only thing that, that matters. Any, any. Okay, I guess I'll start with the first one I sent you. Alright. All right, let's go to Lilith. Let's see. Uh, here's the list. Let's see. Which one should I go? Let's see. What would be a good one to do? Alright, we're going to SCP-1079. I haven't got my Monopoly over to SCP for on <laughs> on your Twitch. <laughs> wow. First, let me pull it up before I start moving. Alrighty. Let's see. And Lilith's SCP is shorter than Hatchet's. I'm going to find a safe area for me to start my reading a bit. Or, nah, I'll just keep walking. Oh shit. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, never mind then. Just not play the game. Screw you. <laughs> Item SCP 1079, object class safe. Containment uh, special containment procedures. All instances of SCP 1079 are currently stored within containment locker 1079 at site 19. Furthermore, watchlist databases are to be updated with SCP-1079's information in order to intercept any new shipments which may appear in the future. Description: SCP-1079 is, is designation given to number of suites brightly labeled Dr. Wonder Entertainment's Bubble Bath Bonbons. Currently, the Foundation has redacted crates of SCP-1079 in containment. Originally containing 64 packets each. The label on each packet provides the name of the product with two warnings, not suitable for children under three years, and only one suite is to be taken per sitting. In addition, it, it lists negative percent daily values of several nutritions, vitamins, minerals, and none of which are present in SCP-1079. Human subjects reported tingling sensations immediately after consumption of SCP-1079. 10 to 15 seconds later, subjects' own blood is secreted, secreted as pink bubblegum scented foam from the subject's pores of their abdomen, arms, and back. The total volume of voice secret, uh, secret, secreted in, in this way is typically from 30 to 50 milliliters and does not pose an immediate health risk. The volume of blood secreted uh, increases exponentially as more pieces are consumed. Bubbles form in the subject's body as a consequence of the SCP's intended function causing the subject's blood to boil. Death by exhaustion occurs in 95% of subjects who have consumed four or more candies in one sitting. 
Exonation is compounded by foam collected in the lungs of the consumer after standardizing. Animal testing was conducted. It was found that SCP 1079's effects scales with the consumer body's mass. Addendum. Since its initial discovery in Redacted, Redacted 1990, Redacted deliveries have been made to various supermarkets globally. Attempts to trace these deliveries back to dis distribution center or supplier have been unsuccessful as of Redacted, Redacted 2005. And that was SCP-1079. Since there's only two people here, Hatchet, you're next. For the next SCP, I'm going to do two more SCP readings and then actually play the game for real for a bit and then streams in. So, Hatchet, what SCP do you want read next? Unless you wanted me to read 055, because I see 055 is there. My monopoly reigns. <laughs> just doing a little struggle. <laughs> No, that was the SCP that, that was in the briefcase. Oh, okay. So what SCP would you like read next, Hatchet? Because you're up. Oh, I'm alive. I don't know if someone with you go again. <laughs> I mean, I have to wait for a bit. The Lilith, what's the next SCP? Is there, I think they are trying to make those. Yeah. I think they are trying to make SCP board games. I know there's a card game. Oh, I, I don't have access. I cannot leave. I literally don't have access. I can't get in. Let me in, motherfuckers. Just wondering. Read SCP-666. Alright. That'll be a Series 1. Okay, let's see what's all down. Oh, no, past it, past it. Item, SCP-666, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-666 is to be stored in, in a monitored closed vault at all times at Site-73 in the Tibetan Mountains. Guards are to be changed weekly, must pass a background check before being assigned to their post and proven free of drug and alcohol addiction. SCP-666 is to be entered only by D-Class personnel and approved testing procedures or by approved foundation researchers with a level 4 or higher security clearance. Non-D-Class personnel who entered SCP-666 
whether or not they have been revealed a prior history of addiction, must be observed by a guard at all times. If they show any signs of being affected by SCP-666, they are to be removed immediately. Description SCP-666 is a medium-sized Tibetan yurt, made of Tibetan wooden branches and covered in yak leather. The interior ceiling of is 2.44 meters, aka 8 feet high, and the base of the yurt is 9.14 meters, aka 30 feet. Uh, the, the hut is circular in shape. The, the interior of the hut has a dirt floor and uh, and appears to be in a, as crude as the outside of the majority of observers. The branches that make up the yurt frame are wrapped in rabbit fur and tied with yak leather thongs. Periodically, SCP-666 will change its location within the confinement area. This will happen only when not under direct observation, but remote viewing gives the impression of the entity inside the structure lifting its it wholly and moving to its new position to date. That new position to date it has not made any attempt to escape confinement. SCP-666 has discovered was was discovered in 1973 by SCP operatives researching the mountain regions on reports of several missing persons having returned from the area giving similar explanations. Seeking shelter during harsh weather, the individuals would happen upon SCP-666 by a seeming uh, happenstance. Having gone out in similar conditions for the exploration team was, was also, also able to discover the yurt. Of the three operatives present, two experienced no ill effects. The third entered a stupor, experiencing vivid hallucinations and muttering incoher incoherently to himself. Upon retrieval of the team, the year it was discovered and taken to the site nearby Site 73 for further investigation. When an individual with no history of significant additions enters the year, the year remains dormant and seems to have no ill effects. Class D personnel without history of alcohol or narcotics abuse were able to sit inside the year for days at a time if provided proper nourishment and did report a greater intensity in their dreams. Individuals who have a history of substance abuse, however, will experience a hallucinogenic effect when inside the structure. For all instances, subjects report, report being in a location either from their memories or a corollary thereof, specifically a spot where, where their addiction was at its most intense. Thus far, there have been reports uh, of nightclub bathroom uh, reports of, of a ninth nightclub bathroom, a 1973, sorry, 1973 Volkswagen Vanagon, a filthy alleyway, the redacted casino at, at in Las Vegas, etc. You motherfuckers. I guess I'll stay here then. One subject reported finding himself in a dirty apartment with a prost prostitute named Chloe, with whom he frequently indulged in narcotics abuse. Another reported being in his own bedroom with a computer setup significantly more intricate than he owned before his arrest for distri distribution of. I'm not going to say that, but um, very naughty things. How did I live? <laughs> I don't think they saw me. Which is hilarious. It's, um, okay, I'm just gonna say it's... Kid... Kid pictures. We're just gonna put it at that. Kid pictures. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it says. <laughs> I don't want Twitch and YouTube mad at me. During these hallucinations, subjects report that they are confirmed by an individual research referred to as SCP-66-1. Descriptions of SCP-66-1 vary widely from person to person with no 
a commonality to race, gender, or appearance beyond being typical for surroundings. SCP-66-1 will indulge the subject in their personal addictions. Although at the start, it, it will have the passive-aggressive attitude. As time progresses, the subject is encouraged to indulge further while semi simultaneously being encouraged to stop. Should the subject show remorse or a strong desire to give up the addiction, SCP-66-1 will slowly adopt a more genuine, friendly tone and continue the temptation with discouragement hallucinations. Approximately 94% of subjects who have gone through this form of hallucination to their end have been diagnosed as having a near complete removal of psychological addictions, though physical symptoms will persist through the natural withdrawal cycle. If a subject gives in to SP66 1's temptations, the entity becomes increase, increasingly hostile. There is no set timetable nor degree of indulgence, but if left unchecked, SCP 66 1 will invariably begin assaulting the subject and forcing the subject sex vice upon them to levels of extreme overdose. If the subject is not forcibly removed from SCP 666 during this period, they will die. Cause of death is typical of their addiction, whereby an alcoholic with severe extreme uh, kidney or liver failure, a cocaine user with, with will develop a cardiac uh, dysthermia, a subject that needs video games or television will suffer extreme muscle atrophy and health issues associated with uh, sedimentary lifestyle, etc. To date, there has been no clear connection between who will and will not consume to SCP-666-1. The working hypothesis is that it's, it is simply a matter of individual's willpower and conviction. All attempts to interview SCP-666-1 directly have failed with the entity either redirecting the conversation or bluntly refusing to answer. The only statement that reveals anything to its to its nature was a single instance of we're not important here, this is all about you. Alright. About you. This indicates that there are either multiple entities attached to SCP-666, or there are additional instances to SCP-666 in the world. Investigation is ongoing as whether similar stories have arisen, should another instance of SCP-666 be discovered, it, ha it is to be transferred immediately to Site-73. Addendum, SCP-666-1, nearly identical stories have recently arisen in remote areas of northern Canada describing a Wendigo hut. While confirmed, their similarities point to at least one additional instance of SCP-666 at large. Addendum SCP-66-2, an interview along with test subject D-149390 regarding experiences of SCP-666, audio only. Ooh, audio log. Can I kill other guards? No, I cannot. I'm just going to keep this on me. Whenever I need it. I just want to keep going forward. Interview. Dr. Lannis. Interview subject. D-14390. Date. Uh, April 17th. 19 redacted. Dr. L, subject D 414390, how are you feeling? D 14390, and not bad, Doc. How are you feeling? Uh, oh, wait. Shh. Not, oh, shit. I, I said something wrong. It, not bad, Doc. Not bad. Kind of want to take another nap in the tent. Dr. L, well, that's. Well, that's what we're here to talk about. Please describe your experience inside of SCP-166. 
see that uh, one four three nine zero. Well, hey, no sweat there, Doc. I see. I just stroll in, like you say. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Just stroll in, like you say. Like you said, I have myself a seat. Next thing I know, I'm in this. I'm in this hole in the wall back and redacted with this sweet little bitch, Chloe. Doctor L. Chloe. D-14390, oh yeah, she was pricey and she wasn't the best looking trick south in Kennedy, but she had some connections. Never did meet up with her once that, uh, that we weren't getting high. Note, Chloe was the working name of the prostitute that D-14390 was with at the time of, of his arrest. Dr. L, very well, please describe the scenario for me. D-14390, well, it was it was our apartment, right? Kind of dingy, a little messy, like she, she hadn't cleaned it in a couple weeks, but I wasn't there for scenery, you know? So I dropped off, right, a cast off in the living room table, and we head into the bedroom. I shoot up with her, use my own needle, of course, and then we get freaky. I mean, we did everything under the sun in a couple that never saw the light of day. She knew positions I never did and had drugs that I haven't even heard of. About halfway through, I needed to pick me up, so I started a couple of lines of Colombian offer booty. And Dr. L, I think that's enough. D 14390. For the sake of brevity, please keep the rest of your testimony in regards to an anomalous entity of SCP 66 1. D14390, the what now? Dr. L, the, the person who tempted you in your hallucination. D14390, oh, right. Well, it was around that time that she was offering me some, this opium shit. Uh, she says she got off a Chinaman. The whole time she'd been uh, saying stuff in kind of funny way, like those, what do you call Back face comments. Dr. L backhanded compliment. E14390. That's the stuff. Well, I start taking a couple of pulls off the opium and I'm feeling mellow, but she's just glaring at me, right? So I ask, What's up? And she hauls off and punches me in the face. Not like this fragile little crack whore would either. I mean, I thought I was going. 10 with Tyson right about now. She starts screaming at me, calling me weak, saying I'm pathetic, just giving in, you know, bitch shit. So I kick her in the chest, and that's when shit got weird. Next thing I know, she's got me on the ground with her arms around my throat. Her eyes got, get, get huge and bloodshot and shit. I can feel her nails digging into the sides of my neck. And hand to God, Doc, she was shooting shit into me. Dr. L, you're saying... SCP-66-1 was injecting you with heroin through her nails. D-14390, not sure what it was, but it burned and it felt good at the time. And they weren't na nails anymore, more, more like big cat claws, right? And she's still yelling at me, but her mouth is getting bigger and bigger, like her jaw stretching out and her teeth getting sharper and bigger, like she's about to ready to eat my head, even though... As blessed as I was, uh, I said, uh, as I was, that was some freaky shit, and I, and I started screaming. Sorry about that. And that was when the guards pulled you out of the tent. Dr. L said. B-14390, yeah. Yeah, it seems like I was just freaking out in the dream. Weird shit was about like five seconds after I get pulled out. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't, re I didn't freaking realize I was dead. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, said, oh, well, I hear Chloe's voice again, but it's all low and growly and sounded like she said, You can't stop. Dr. L, thank you, D-14390. I just have one last question. After all this, you said you wanted to go back in. Why? D-14390. Well, it's simple, right? <laughs> she was scary and all, but... Man, I've never been that high in my life. And with 
with the shit that goes on in this place. I fear I'm not long for a world anyway, so I might as well just go out with a smile, right? No, following the interview, D-14390 repeatedly volunteered for additional testing with SCP-666. Dr. Lannis finally relented. D-14390 began screaming approximately three seconds after entering the scenario oscillatory state and expired from cardiac arrest less than one minute later. And that is the reading of SCP-666. Was it to your expectations, Lilith? Oh, we must go to the Banana King. Banana King. Uh, not at all, but interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, Hatchet, it's your turn again. You get to choose the final SCP that is red. Drugs aren't a real Satan. <laughs> well, I did expect death. <laughs> You just got shy guy. It, was that what happened? I got shy guyed. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was reading. It just went on hatchet for the last SCP. SCP two zero zero six. All right. I think it would be in here. Two zero zero six. All right. Item SCP two zero zero six. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP two zero six is to be contained at site one one eight as an airtight. Containment cell SCP-2006 must be constantly monitored for changes in form, which are noted immediately. All personnel coming in, into contact with SCP-2006 are required to enroll in any in acting course with focus of expressing fear and surprise. Every month, SCP-2006 is to be shown at least one new, extremely low-quality horror or sight science fiction movie containing horror elements. Oh wow, Hatchet. But anyway, um or please we'll call it elements. Any of SCP two thousand six was confirmed that SP two 2006 continues to believe that that said works demonstrates a super B graphs of horror. I'll go down here because no one really kills in here. Alright, perfect. 
I'll probably die immediately anyway. Description. SCP-2006 is an anomalous spherical entity roughly 50 centimeters in diameter when it's in default state. SCP-2006 stated goal is to cause feelings of fear and or horror in as many humans as possible. To accomplish this purpose, SCP-2006 possesses the ability to change its shape, mass, volume, density, chemical structure, and voice to any form that it desires. Currently, there is no known way to damage SCP-2006. The extent of its shape-shifting abilities is unknown and is currently thought to be unlimited. Currently, SCP-2006 has demonstrated a fondness of taking forms of various entities and villains uh, from the various horror and science fiction movies that it's that it has witnessed. The most common uh, form was SCP that SCP-2006 has taken. It was the Roman from the S from the 1953 movie Robot Monster. SCP-2006 is capable of speaking even when it possesses the form of an entity uh, that is normally unable to speak. SCP-2006 will generally attempt to, to startle and or scare... Oh fuck! Alright, just give me one second, so I might be able to... There you go. Wait, he died? I was anticlimactic. I'll just be right here, like always. Anyway. Okay. It scare any individual that comes in contact with it, but after doing so, well, will become infabulable and friendly. The reason behind this is currently unknown, although SCP-2006 has repeated stated its goal is to cause as much fear as possible. SCP-2006 is a poor judge of concepts that cause fear in humans and constantly searches uh, for new methods in which to accomplish its goal. The poor recognition extends to recognition of emotions in humans, as SCP-2006 is incapable of distinguishing between subtle differences in emotion that would be obvious to a human. Interview Log with SCP-2006 Interviewer Dr. Loth interviewed SCP-2006. Dr. Loth enters the room. SCP-2006 is seen crouched near the door. SCP-2006 is in its Roman form. SCP-2006 proceeds to leap out, out of its crouch, throwing its arms in the air. 2006, fear me, mortal. I am the mighty Roman. Cower in fear. Dr. Loth screams and stumbles backwards, raising its hands in protection. Dr. Loth, please, almighty Roman, don't hurt, hurt me. SCP-2006. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, Doc. I got you pretty good, didn't I? Dr. Loth, SCP-2006. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear lord. You really frightened me there. I was about to have a heart attack. SCP-2006. It's what I do, Doc. Aha, boo. Dr. Loth stumbles again. Dr. Uh, SCP-2006, <laughs> still got it. So, was there something that you wanted to talk about, Doc? Dr. Loth, yes. I, I was wondering, what it why exactly do you feel the need to cause fear in others? SCP-2006, I don't understand the question. Dr. Loth, that is, why do you scare people? SCP-2006, oh, that's an easy one. I scare people because it's fun, and you... And you know, it's what I do. Just like you do doctory stuff, I do scary stuff. I'm the best at it. I, I don't really see what else there is about it. Dr. Wall, that you are. I'll take my leave then. SCP-206, come back around soon. I have some really scary stuff next time. By the way, I will eat your soul.
Black Sloth, let me out of here. I'm gonna die of fright. And then the, the current site director of Site 118 has issued the following mo monorandum regarding SCP-2006. I have been getting reports of some of the lax behavior regarding SCP-2006. Many personnel have been heard laughing at SCP-2006 during surveillance when it catches, watches a new movie or when it attempts to scare individuals. Some personnel have been heard questioning why SCP-2006 is classified as a Keter entity. I am here to remind you that it, a Keter entity is a Keter entity, regardless of how innocuous it may seem. No. SCP-206 is not a rampaging demigod, nor it, is it a regenerating super lizard. However, it possesses the same level of danger as any other Keter that the Foundation has contained. Think of SCP-206 purpose. It wishes to scare people. Imagine what would happen if SCP-2006 broke containment and found out that what really scared people. Imagine if it saw saw the horror and fear of war, or the concepts of paranoia or phobias common to each and every human being. Imagine if it found the true horror of a nuclear holocaust or an XK class scenario. Now couple that with an entity that possesses the shape-shifting abilities with no known limits, and you'll understand why it's classified as Keter. All personnel mentioned above have been severely disciplined. I do not want to hear about this again. Dr. Randall's Owings, Site 118 Director. And that was SCP-2006 reading. The last reading that will be of this video. Sadly. No, I want the card. Give me the card. Yeah. I hope you both enjoyed the last SCP I was read. I didn't. Well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, assholes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the SCP readings that I did. Wait. Huh. Hold on. There was... Oh, because the Chaos Insurgency. Chaos Insurgency wins D class wins. I forgot about that. Alright, this round I gotta play for real. I gotta live. I gotta murder everyone who gets in my way. Execute Order 66. <laughs> I am the 939. Yes, let's murder. Yes, they're both Florian. I'm a Florian cat. Oh, and oh, thank you for following Snake, uh, Snakers. The Snakers, or I, I think that's how you say me.
in the Senate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. Where are you, D class? I must murder you. I am the 939, am I? I'm hungry. I'm hungry for flesh. Oh. Ah. I'm a smart doggo. I can't, I forgot I have this, this thing muted, so I cannot tell what they're saying. Oh well. <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh, Rainmaker is a bot. I was about to delete that message. <laughs> it was an advertisement. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I see people. I see people. Oh, those are both SCPs. Yes. Ha! I'm a smart doggo. I avoid the lights because I am smart. That was about to be bad. <laughs> Yeah, the welcome message for the new person who's joined the stream, you just literally just delete it. <laughs> you did it, Hatchet. I believe in you. No, I would have laughed if Rainmaker went after you, like, like when, when I had to fix one of the bots, keep, and, like, he couldn't talk. It kept like uh, saying, "Oh, they they said this. Do you really want this going on?" <laughs> it almost went a war with Christine Hatchet and Rainmaker. <laughs> Actually, do it. I know Hatchet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Let's make this last round glorious. Where? I'm just following them. Where the fuck are we going? I just want to murder. I understand they murdered her already. Oh, sweet cheesums. I mean, that's. One way to do it. I'll do it for five dollars. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not gonna delete that message, Hatchet. Okay, is it bad that I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Ah! Get you! Get back here! Get back here! Oh, it's zero, zero nine six to the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we can't use those. Oh wait. 
but that's probably 106. Remaining targets, 27 people. Where the fuck are they? Ow! Electricity bad. Sweet Jesus. Where are you going? So confused. I see him go down here and then they just go up. Oh. Oh. You walk past someone you don't. Oh, oh well, they they'll get left alive for now. Oh wait, no, they probably took care of it. Oh, I one oh six. Down to twenty. Where are you, 20 people? I want to eat you. <laughs> seconds behind. Also, it seems like that I am 10 to 20 seconds behind on your stream. Oh no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up. Fuck you guys. I wanna go murder. Hey there! Hey there! <laughs> I did a murder. Wait, they didn't even hurt me whatsoever. They didn't even shoot me. What's wrong with them? I don't know. <laughs> it is as good. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. That's fine. All I'm happy is I murdered someone. Take that, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can't crouch, so I'm doing this. How do you feel about that? I'm gonna go and try and kill people. Let's see. Oh, door's broken here. So, let's see. Oh, there wouldn't be in there. It'd be over here. Well, I would see their movements. I don't see any movements. Probably gonna die. That's fine. All I'm happy with is I killed one person. Oh, hello. That was easy. Oh, I'll just take this empty one. 
Eric Gasly's ran a party of two. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Oh, where do you think you're going, D-Class? Murder! Hi, hi, Eric Leslie. I'm trying to murder D-Class personnel at the moment. Uh, I'm doing good. Hi! <laughs> I need these people to stop running away from me. All I want to do is eat them. There's no problem with that. See, this is what happens when you run away from me. You die. <laughs> this time, don't run away from me. Just accept it. Your ass back here. Get your skinny ass back here. Ow. Yes, I got him. <laughs> I got the motherfucker. And welcome to the SCP stream. Fuck. Ow, why, why an electricity? <gasps> brother, no! Who killed you, brother? I will offend you. Die! Let's die. 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 All of you must die. For I must avenge my brethren. Aw. Are you sure he isn't sleeping? I'm pretty sure he isn't sleeping yet. <laughs> I managed to kill most of them, though. Wait, is there really only one SCP left? Wait, no, there's no SCPs left. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. I'm going to be lurking uh, for a bit, but I hope you have a really good fun stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Eric Lasty. Now we watch as my enemies will fully end themselves around electricity. Damn it. It failed. <laughs> Every good last guess. <laughs> also, the only thing I'm, I'm, I don't understand is why it, uh, it, none of them started attacking me as soon as I started attacking them. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Myrtle Smurgle. Welcome to the stream. Also, I will say this since there's uh, how how's the SP run been uh, coming today? Uh, it's been all right. <laughs> I mean, I murdered a whole ton of people. It's nine three nine, but then that's surrounded by a lot of people. Yeah, that yeah. There's a lot of death. There's there's a lot of death. <laughs> but that's normal. Everything's fine. <laughs> Most of the stream was just reading SP articles though. I mean, true. 
Well, that's mainly because you asked for a really long ass CP hatchet. <laughs> And that doesn't mean I didn't hate it. I loved it though. I started the day, but left dry as a shy boy. But my SP team, I got a doctor. And usually happens when I'm that one, one pretty easy. I had as an army of 49 ers quarterbacks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes, o, o 49 is powerful. So you know how to use them quickly. But yes. Also, new people who are here. I know, I know Hatchet and Lilith know about this. But new people here, if you, the thing, donation thing that you're seeing, that is all, that, that is the donation thing that we sent to Make a Wish Foundation. Yes. Killing friends and enemies are alike as normal. <laughs> Take a break after the dock run, but I'll probably get back in soon. Eating and taking a walk at later after. Ah, oh, alright. I, I'm gonna try. Oh! 420-J is a tree. Hey. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just realized I forgot to tell you if you want to donate. But I, the how to donate from the Make a Wish Foundation, there's a little, there's a button that you can push down below that looks like an SCP symbol. That's how it works. Yes, I've already found it. And 40 minutes to go. <laughs> Let me in. I had three rounds so far today, but I got a shy boy D and knock it in that order. Oh no. <laughs> you got two overpowered people. Don't forget to follow. Yeah. Aw, thanks, Nola. Oh. <laughs> Push the glass. Push the glass. Wait. Spoons. I get, don't you like forks, though? I, I can, I can, there are, there are good forks. I, why is everyone just put in one corner? You're a mess waiting to die. So I'm gonna leave. Oh. You got the key card. Yes! That's freedom! Oh, oh, okay. Gotta go, gotta get over. Go, 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 go. Open, 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 open. Oh no! Damn it! I was murder! Shadow Boy, uh, is actually my least favorite and my depressing round as as um today is exactly not why. Aw that sucks. <laughs> Every time I'm, I'm I'm D class I always die. I never beat D class. <laughs> Eaten by doggo. <laughs> he was a bad doggo. <laughs> Oh, well, there's my corpse. <laughs> He's great when a group of people look at you and spawn away, but individually, these that know how to look away and simply outwalk you as it happens. It is so demoralizing. Yeah, I know. I literally, <laughs> I just looked at the floor and, and escaped 096. It's, it's, it's easy to get away individually. It's difficult. Come on, D. Do go K1BO. Do, go K1BO. I, I believe in you. You can live. We believe in you. Oh, oh, a, a lot of people just died. <laughs> you know what? Let's go to Totally Not Frank. I believe in Totally F Not Frank more.
He is literally the only SCP that, that generally can't kill unless certain cautions are triggered. Closest to that is Nut, but even the people have to blink so he has an opportunity to kill even if people are staring at That's true. That's very much true. There's also one thing I like to fix. Like every time I go with the peanut upstairs fast, they, they, I instantly die and say that I'm flying. It is so freaking annoying. Like, I'm not flying, I'm just running up the stairs. <laughs> well, I guess they all ran in 096. I mean, possibly. Because, <laughs> seeing how many people are dead, most likely. <laughs> totally not Frank, we believe in you. The highs as shy are pretty high, but the lows are outright depressing. Yeah, true. Oh, he has an 05 keycard. Totally not Frank. I believe in you. You just have to escape. You're almost there. Oh, go, 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 go. As for my favorites, my top three are Computer, Doc, and Larry. <laughs> yes, Larry. Everyone's favorite. What are you doing? Get out of there. Totally not Frank. Go. Leave. <laughs> oh, I am Chaos and Sergi. Yes, I have a gun. That is a mistake for me to have a gun. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, and also just to let you know, uh, there is the people who has on some videos that I do make, um, uh, people like uh, my subscribers and Twitch of followers can actually join in on the games. And able to do so, you just join the Discord link. I, I just thought I would I would share that because it is in my about. You just just leave me to be abandoned. Fuck you. Wow. Well then, I think I know why they left me to be abandoned. <laughs> this is all their fault. This is all. Their fault. Peter is far and away my favorite because it's extremely satisfying. The strategic nature of playing them, putting the work at, in a CPU winning is such a good feeling. Dox is a top non -S -S CPU skip because he is an amazing stealth killer. True. And you're basically the SCP engineer, being the only one that can recruit for the SCPs. That is true. That's very true. Oh, the peanut it is the peanut. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That peanut was barely on a ledge, eaten by the doggo kid again. <laughs> I, I shut up, Hatchet. I know. I get it. Ah uh, yes, connecting. The favorite thing that gives the most entertainment. Larry is 
It's also good as well makes it easy to navigate by having four arms and anchor point in each out of form. Also be really good ambush option for using elevated people and indoors most immediately helps fire true. Of course, why does it keep throwing me is the D class? I suck at D class. Why? D class have no weapons. Scientist, follow the scientist. Scientist has the key card. They escape. Even if he dies, he's still useful. Yes! Freedom! They're safe from the SCPs in this room. And doors that SCPs is generally uh, a good idea, is much harder for humans to run, but especially true as Larry, since doors don't really affect them. I can close doors as I go through them and basically trap people in the room and easily grab them. Yep. I want to go through them, Shane. Let me in. 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 I wanna go through? Yes. Activate it. Yes. Have you heard of the high elves? Is is that SCP related? Oh, I don't have a coin anymore. Oh! <laughs> what happened? He just opened the door and he died. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, then no. Oh crap. Fuck, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Let's get out of here, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Put the doors on me, you ass. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Yeah, okay, I guess we'll go this way. <gasps> no, I'm just. Shit. Fuck. One of my favorite late game tricks is as Larry is to set a portal at the bottom of the nuke, since spawn waves pretty much never have the card to get to femur. I got up as soon as the elevator is about to open, I teleport back down. You make a sound as you respawn when the elevator goes up or down, so they think you're inside. Then <laughs> grab them and flavor serve me down the elevator. <laughs> I've bamboozled multiple people with micros and other spawn wave people using the, the trick. That is a good trick. And I hate. Uh, which one is he? I hate uh, telling Stee. There we go. I hate you, Town Stee. You killed me. Well, indeed, truly fucked. <laughs> wow, hatchet. Murgle Schmurgle with the ultimate the plans for SSL. They know how to beat the game.
Now we watch as the SCPs kill people. Also, I'm doing that the MTF at the top of the elevator have have no way of knowing if they come out teleport back down, so I can easily just push them and grab like four or five before teleporting down again. Wow. I am chaos and surgency. Time to get my revenge. Revenge. Right, why can't I move? Okay, there we go. It's an excellent way of keeping them on their toes. Of course, I'm abandoned. Don't worry, I'll go with you, uh, Latouk. We got this. Oh, we're here with someone. Latouk and... Hey, juicy whatever numbers. Oh, wow. <laughs> they already went on a mass murdering spree. Jesus. Using the elevator trick is in the last two weeks, I've been, I have had multiple games where I've killed at least 30 people by myself. <laughs> wow. No one in there. Let's see. I want to murder. Where's everyone? I want to murder people. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I murdered you, asshole. Ha uh ha. -huh. Let's do this. Time for more murder. Whenever you, you get layers, just one person and just wipe cards ASAP. Their bullets don't do shit to you. They don't have the key card to get in, so they can't open doors and heavy if you catch them all. Ah. In the damn door. I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker. They went to the elevator. Oh, we we need to go to the elevator. Fref. Oh. Never mind, I went back down where it's dead. Now I went back to the dead zone. I went back to the wrong zone. Oh. A long drop. Oh, Angel Dust from Hasbro Hotels here, apparently. That's where 939s came from. Yes.
I don't know what I did. I did something. That fucker go. Hmm. Can't find anybody to kill. No, I don't need to go to the warhead. Oh. Oh, hello. Juicy. Hey, Juice3378. So we need to go over here, apparently. I wish 096 had a uh, grab mechanic with clean look at you or something like that so he isn't completely dead like game true. Fuck. I'm sorry, totally not Frank. I have failed you. But if he does have a grab, you need to be right on top of him, true. Hmm. I I don't believe in totally not Frank because he keeps looking away from one seven three and that's stupid. How did one seven three not kill totally not Frank? Makes no sense. By the way, you can't just force a rage on the seas of witnesses, but you can also get it completely cock blocked by individuals who play it right. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Totally not Frank, what the hell are you doing? You're making my making this not entertaining.
Oh, all right. I'm gonna lurk while I eat. All right. I have a gun again. Biggest mistake ever. You never give Dr. Bright the gun. Alright, man, let's do this. Everyone pile in. Yes. We have an army. Or guess what I do? <laughs> oh my gosh, hatchet. Alright, alright, men. Let's murder everyone. All right, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I have some stuff to do, but in the meantime, you'll enjoy this nice little scene.
Alright, see ya, Hatchet. And sorry about that, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I've been kicked. Well then. Hmm. Ah, yes. Let's go to my facility. Alright, now let's do what I said I was going to do and do one more round, and then the stream ends. I'm going to expect... You motherfucker. Well, this won't count as the round. But fuck you, server. Oh, that's a that's a lot of dead bodies. I wish I created those dead bodies. Ah, SCPs have won. All righty, let's start. I am the great tutorial. I, I, you must all obey me and do as I say. You must do as I say, motherfuckers. So go murder all the SCPs. He didn't do what I said. I'm upset. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I was going through the wrong door. I'm a little dumbass. Let's do this. 
That's murder. Got him. Gotta make sure I got a good scope. I didn't even know I could do this in this game. I still got a key card. Not that I need it, I already have a key card, but still. No, okay, so neither of those key cards can do anything. Where are we going? I need to do the murder. I need to do the murder. Let me do the murder. Oh, the exit door. I know not exit door. The um, interest where we need to go. Thank you. Now we'll probably be bombarded with SCPs now. Oh, zero seven nine. Crap. Have a high enough key card. Either that there is no 079. Hmm, where are them SCPs at? You know what, I think I found a quick way to uh, eliminate all SCPs. I think I found a quick way to do it. Fuck, I don't have a high enough key card. I was gonna blow everything up. Uh huh. Who would possibly want to come down here? Oh, a lot of bodies here. Well then. Okay. I'm going to be holding this. Because of reasons. Very effective. Oh jeez, why is there lag? 106 container, okay. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Hmm. 
Now that's where the 939 spawn. Oh, hi there. Why oh, are you going down there? I'm gonna fucking die. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Oh, gate B. Oh, wow. Oh, let's go outside. Two guards and a scientist. One cup. Sorry, I had to. Run, scientist, run. Run to safety. Who the fuck is this? I'm bored as fuck. So I've yet to get in a fight. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Well then. I have nine cows. How long is this round? Oh, wait. I don't know if this is the same for some, some servers. I have this ability where you can kill your teammates. I'm not sure if this is going to be the one. Once they get in, I'm throwing it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm such an asshole. I am such an asshole. Oh, I think my bomb finally went off. <laughs> oh, or not.
I just want this round to be over. Jesus. This is longer than the other server I was on. How long does it have to go? Yeah, I'm just like these guys. I'm bored as fuck. Let's go the fuck back outside because there's nothing to do in here. Uh, SCP-420-J. Everyone's, uh, mostly everyone's favorite SCP. It's some high as fuck. Oh, that isn't. Red lights are bad. Also, why is there lag over here? But not where I was before. Get out of the lag. Away from the lag, please. That or the redness is taking over. Redness will take over all. Hello, random person. Yeah, I'm just as confused as everyone else. What the hell are we supposed to do? Was all this? These all bodies? Oh my god! Is that all the chaos and Zergy? What happened? Shrapnel and severe burns caused by an explosion. They were all exploded. Jesus. I mean, I guess we go here. Oh, 
MTF1. Well then, that will be the end of that, but probably it's gonna, I'm going to make sure it disconnects me before I put the final scene. See, nope, it did not disconnect me. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Yes. Alrighty. And to anyone who's still here, I hope you enjoyed the stream. And, um... And if you would like to join the Discord server where, uh... Where um the where you can join in and actually play some games with me and some other people who are YouTubers. Um uh the dis the Discord is in the about area. And if you'd like to support me in any way, my Patreon is also down there. And as a bonus, if you would actually like to join an SCP SMP faction Minecraft server that I'm making, uh you can uh do the the request form is down there as well. And if anyone is still here, does anyone have any uh, thing they want to say before I end stream? I'll take that as a no, since I'm not seeing any messages. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed, and I'll see you D-Class next time.